G'day all. I just wanted to update everybody on the upcoming fire season, as well as the recent developments around the reforms to the fire services. While we've had a bit of rain recently, and I'm sure you're all still rugging up, we all know that we cannot be lulled into a false sense of security when it comes to preparing for the upcoming season. We've been getting a lot of data in from places such as the CSIRO and the Bureau of Meteorology, which is suggesting that the summer season could start earlier and as early as October. This has almost been the driest winter on record in rainfall deficiencies, and this time last year, as you'll remember, the state was in flood. The drier than usual winter and the warmer weather has already resulted in increased grass fires and out of control burn offs. Examples brigades including Hayfield, Mafra, and Monbolk have all had a taste of the summer season. Over the last few weeks, they've been turning out to grass and scrub fires that started off as small burn offs and resulted into larger jobs that got away. As a result of all this, we, CFA, and our partners at DELP and Parks Victoria are all getting ready for an earlier season. This outlook could mean campaign fires and a longer than usual fire season, so we need to get into a space of seasonal preparedness right now. This is what we in CFA do best. We prepare, we are committed, and we protect life and property. I'm confident that we will be well prepared and ready to go for this season, even if it does start in October. The issue of the fire services reform, let me briefly give you an update. As many of you know, the Select Committee released its report into the reforms. The Government is now considering the issues raised in the report and is working on incorporating that feedback into the reforms. The Select Committee heard from hundreds of people across CFA and of course a number of other agencies and I want to thank everybody who took part in that process. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. These last few months have been challenging for CFA, but you have always passionately put your communities first and for most part been constructive in your feedback, so thank you. Now, as we move forward, I want all our people to come together, as I know you will, and continue to prepare for the upcoming season. Our cause is bigger than any individual or outside group. It's about selfless service to our communities and above all, it's about protecting life and property. Let's carry on in this spirit and continue to protect our fellow Victorians. Thanks very much, have a great day.